day kids, welcome back to my channel. For today, our lesson is about dividing decimal numbers. The process of dividing decimals is similar to the normal division, but we need to keep in mind the decimal point which should be correctly placed in the quotient. First, let's divide a decimal by a whole number. 73.92 divided by 6. Here a dividend is a decimal and a divisor is a whole number. The division of decimals with the whole number is easily done by taking the following steps. Ignore the decimal and divide normally until you get 0 as the remainder. 7 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times 6 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down 3. 13 divided by 6 is 2. 2 times 6 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. Bring down 9. 19 divided by 6 is 3. 3 times 6 is 18. 19 minus 18 is 1. Bring down 2. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 times 6 is 12. And 12 minus 12 is 0. Place a decimal point in the quotient directly above where it appears in the dividend. Therefore, the answer is 12.32. Next, let's divide decimals by another decimal numbers. In here, both the dividend and the divisor are decimals. Example, 49.5 divided by 1.5. To divide, move the decimal point of the divisor to the right as many times as necessary to make it whole number. This makes the divisor 15. Then, move the decimal point in the dividend up to the same number of digits as you move it in the divisor. Since we move one place for the divisor, we will move one place also for the dividend. This makes the dividend 495. Now divide the dividend by the divisor just like regular division. Place the decimal point in the quotient in the same position as given in the dividend. But you can also omit or remove this decimal point if your final answer is a whole number. Thus, the quotient of 49.5 divided by 1.5 is 33. Still in dividing decimal by another decimal, 9.152 divided by 0.8. Turn 0.8 into a whole number 8 by moving the decimal point one place to the right. At the same time, move the decimal point in 9.152 one place to the right. Now, start dividing. Put your decimal point in the quotient directly above where it falls in 91.52. As a result, the answer is 11.44. Another. 3.15 divided by 0.021. Again, turn your divisor into a whole number by moving the decimal point three places to the right. At the same time, move the decimal point in the dividend three places to the right. Attach an additional trailing zero in the dividend to extend it to three decimal places. Now, divide 3150 by 21. Four. 
4, the quotient of 3.15 divided by 0 0.021 is 150. Let's have more examples. 0 0.45 divided by 3.6. As always, turn the divisor into whole number by moving the decimal point as many times as necessary. For this, move the decimal point one place to the right. At the same time, move the decimal point in the dividend one place to the right. Divide normally until you get zero as a remainder. For divided by 36 is not possible, so let's write 0 and take 45 instead. 45 divided by 36 is 1. 1 times 36 is 36. 45 minus 36 is 9. As you can see, your remainder is not yet 0, so, for us to continue dividing, add extra 0 to our dividend, then bring it down. 90 divided by 36 is 2. 2 times 36 is 72. 90 minus 72 is 18. Fill out the dividend with another trailing zero. And continue dividing. 180 divided by 36 is 5. 5 times 36 is 180. And 180 minus 180 is 0. That's it. Let's stop our division here for our remainder is already zero. Place the decimal point in the quotient directly above where it now appears in the dividend. Thus, the final answer is 0 0.125. How about if we divide decimals by 10, 100, 1000, or any power of 10? We just simply shift or move the decimal point towards the left, as many places as the number of zeros in the power of 10. Like for example, if you divide 92.5 by 10, move the decimal point to the left by one place. Therefore, the answer is 9.25. Same with when you divide the decimal number by 100, move the decimal point two places to the left. Of course, do not forget to write the leading zero. To know why leading zero was used, you can check my other video, which is multiplying decimal numbers. Back to what I am saying, when you divide the decimal number by 1000, you just simply move the decimal point three places to the left and so on. There you have it. I hope you learned something today. If you like our discussion, click like and subscribe. Thank you, and see you again next time.